Hi there, it is Christmas Eve and I have been, for the last month or so, I've been looking for a pair of binoculars to, to complement my, um, my Tech 160 and my uh, big APM 120 um, SD binoculars, something handheld. Um, and I've been going back and forth between the, um, well actually I picked up a pair of 8x42s uh, overwork, the Sport EDs. Um, I really love them. I mean, I, my first look at the moon with those, it was, I mean, really, I mean, I thought, wow, that, these look really good. So then I start, started thinking, you know, uh, more power. I wanted some more uh, magnification. So I started thinking about uh, 10X and, and 12X and even 15X. Um, and I got, I mean, from the reviews that I had been, been reading, um, 10X, right, you get a little bit more shaky. 12X is, is pretty shaky. So I, I like to have a, um, a, a still image, as still an image as I, as I, as I can get. So I started looking at the, the Canon uh, image stabilization binoculars, and I was going back and forth between, I mean, bet between the, the 8x42s, or I mean, the, the 10x42s, uh, the 12x36s, and the 15x50s. So I eventually pulled the gun on on these guys, I pulled the trigger on these, on the uh, 12 by 36s. I bought these for my birthday a couple of weeks ago. And I, I, I mean, I liked them so much that I decided to get myself 10 by 42s for Christmas. And these showed up two days ago. Uh, it's been raining ever since. Uh, I had like a half hour, uh, when, they, when, they, when they arrived at my door, I had like a half hour before it got a little too dark. I mean, the clouds were already in, so I couldn't look at uh, ending up in the sky, uh, but I had about a half hour at twilight to look at things uh, down the street, uh, some Christmas lights down the tree, uh, or down the street, and they looked really fantastic. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about the the differences that I was looking at, uh, the, the, that I was weighing between uh, between the the twelve by thirty sixes and the twelve by thirty sixes, and just I'm going to share some of my first impressions about. Uh, about these uh, uh, binoculars. So the 12 by 36s I've had about, mm, yeah, like I said, I think about 10 days uh, to, to play with them. The first time I pulled them out and it was pretty nice out actually, the sun was shining and I looked, I focused them on a tree in the backyard and um, hit the image stabilization button here and could not believe how, how good that it looked. I mean, I, it was just phenomenal. And then as I'm looking at the leaves on this tree, um, the detail, uh, a bird, a, a hummingbird flies into my uh, field of view and I'm just following this hummingbird and it's just like dead center and it's just fantastic. I, I, I mean, I can't say enough about how much I like this, this, this image stabilization, especially for this 12X. Um, what I, so the, the IS is fantastic. I mean, you gotta hold the button. I mean, there's, there's people that talk about uh, holding the button, they don't like holding the button. I, I don't, it, it, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, I have got no problems holding the button down uh, while you're looking at it, while, while, to get it to stabilize. Um, what I don't like about the 12 by 36s are the eye cups. And there's a lot of people that have, you know, talked about this on the 15s and the, uh, and the 18s, 50s, um, but there is just no way I can see um, the full field of view with these eye cups extended. I mean, they are, they're pretty deep. I mean, you can, it's, it's quite a, I mean, it's quite, I mean, I don't know, I can measure that. But how far is that? I guess it's, let's see. That's a good centimeter, 10 millimeters is the, it's just the, it's just the cup. Um, so, so I had, so I folded them down first. It was my first, right? Reaction is just to fold them, get them out of the way so I can get in and see the field, uh, the full field of view. Um, but then the problem with the, with the, at this, at, you know, using this, uh, using it this way is that I need to hold them away from my face in order to, right, to see, to, to, to get a good view where, where I need uh, uh, to be. So, and then there's also, there's nothing here to, right, to block out the, the, um, the, the, the stray light. So then I thought, well, let's just see if I can pull them up a little bit. And that seems to work a little, I mean, that works pretty well. Oh, whoop, put that back down. Come on, I'll hit the glass. All right, 
Oh, well, I mean, I can get it on both sides here. Try it the third time, third time the charm. So there. So this way, right, then I can put it up to my, my face and it looks fantastic. So the eye cups, I'm probably gonna either get myself uh, some, some aftermarket eye, uh, eye cups or I might just cut these off um, to where they where uh, where I think they need to be so but all in all if you get your, if you can get a, uh, an opportunity to look at um, through these 12 by 36s and hit and, and push the uh, IS button you will be very surprised I had a couple of neighbors walk by while I was uh, looking at these the other day waiting for the 10 by 42s to to show up and I had them look through them and once they hit that button I mean they were just like I mean, the, the, drop, the, the, the jaw just dropped, uh, just like mine did when, when I first looked through them. So, unbelievable, fantastic. Um, 12 by 36s are fantastic. So, oh, there is one thing I do want to talk about. Uh, one other thing, the, the focuser. So, the focuser on the 12 by 36 is just, because I want to talk about the differences, what I like. So, the eye cups are, I don't like on, on the 12 by 36s. Uh, the focuser is fantastic. Um, it takes about one full... One and a quarter full, one and a quarter rotations to go from um, um, close focus to infinity focus. So it's it, it in order to go from like a, looking at a, a bird to looking at an airplane, uh, very quick to get to, to change that, that that focus. Okay, where on the ten by forty twos, the the focuser goes three full rotations to get from. So there, there's. See, that's one end, and then there we go. So it's three full rotations to get from close focus, from near focus to uh, infinity. Um, so it takes quite a bit longer, right, when I'm looking at a bird uh, in a tree in my backyard and, as, and, and an airplane is approaching LAX. It takes uh, quite a bit more to get to, the, to focus that airplane. Um, you can see the difference in the, the size here, right? These are... Quite a bit bigger. All right, there we go. And one of my concerns when I was right when I was debating whether or not I want the, the tens or the twelves um, or the fifteens was, boy, I mean, I, I don't know if I want to hold that that thirty. What is it? 30, 39 ounces or thirty eight ounces? Whatever the whatever eleven hundred grams. Um, I was concerned about the the weight. Um, but. After playing with them for a half hour, it is that I don't have any issues with the weight. I mean, I, I was out there for a half hour looking at stuff. I mean, my arms never got tired. Um, I no, I wouldn't want to probably wouldn't want to go hiking with these, um, but certainly taking them to my dark site or taking them in the backyard, um, I, I've got no problems with the with the size of the ten by forty twos. Now, obviously, right, the twelve by thirty sixes are really really. Um, small compared to the 40, uh, 42s. Um, so these I'd probably take with them if I'm gonna go on a hike. Um, that'd be probably the ones uh, that I would take. Um, so the if you're concerned about the, um, the the weight and the size, actually these feel better in my hands. Uh, they, 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 they're more comfortable in my hands um, than, than the small ones, but I mean, I wouldn't complain with either one of these. So um, what else? The eye cups, the eye cups on the 10 by 42 are fantastic, right? I mean, this is what you would see. This is what I see with my eyepieces, right? Being able to adjust the, the eye relief. And I don't know why Canon wouldn't just do this on all of their, on all of their uh, 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 binoculars. Another feature I like on the, the 10 by 42s is the locking uh, diopter uh, adjustment. So right there, I can bring it down and turn it and then lock it back up so that um, so that doesn't uh, go out of focus on the on the right eye. Um, and then one other thing that just initial impressions because I have not had a, a chance to uh, take these out and test them uh, optically um, together directly. So um, the twelve by thirty six is when you hit the button, at least from my memory from I don't know three or four days ago when I. Oh, a couple days ago, actually, yeah, a couple, couple days ago when I was uh, waiting for these to show up, 
Um, you hit the button and it seems to me that the image stabilization is almost instant, right? It, I mean, it locks on. I mean, it just, it's, it's, it stabilizes almost instantly. Whereas the 10 by 42s, I hit the button here. Where is it? Right here. And it takes like a second, maybe, at least that was my, uh, my impression, like a second, maybe a second and a half for that image to stabilize. So I need to do a little bit more about, uh, with respect to that to see if, see if maybe, I don't know what, I was doing something wrong, but uh, it seemed like it took a little bit longer for these to stabilize. But other than that, I mean, looking through these binoculars is a, um, it's um, transformative, really. I mean, it's, I, I don't know, uh, I, I don't know if, if I could ever go back to those 8x42s that I picked up, those, the Obies. Um, I'll probably just put those in my truck and use those when, when I'm driving around and I want to see something. Um, but in terms of if I got a choice, it's probably going to be the 10x42s here or the 12x36s. And I may even now, um, because I was, I didn't know if, I mean, the 12 by 50, or the 15 by 50s were a consideration. I was thinking about those, but I just didn't think that, I just thought they were going to be too big. I mean, um, they're about a quarter pound more than these, but now I, th I think I'm going to maybe try the, the 15 by 50s as well. So anything else that I want to talk about? The bags the, or the cases, the, the 12 by 36 comes with a, um, it's a pretty thin case. I don't know if it's, I mean, I don't think I would go hiking with, well, maybe, I mean, it, it's not going to, I mean, it, it doesn't, I don't think it's going to protect it uh, that well, but the 10 by 42s, that case is pretty substantial. I mean, this has got a lot of padding in it. Oh, yeah, a lot of padding. And the uh, the 10 by 42s fit in there very snugly. It's, it's, it's kind of even difficult to get them out. Um, but I think I'm going to, um, actually I did, I purchased a pair of the lens hoods, uh, 52 millimeter lens hoods for these because I want to get rid of these lens caps because they're very, at least for me, it's hard for them to get them back on. And I don't want to be messing around with the objectives, trying to push these on and then, and then getting my fingers all over it. So I, I picked up a pair of, um, I don't know, maybe, I don't know how long they are, but some, some lens hoods and some caps. Um, so I'll be replacing that. So these will not fit in that case now. So I'm going to be looking for a uh, a different case to put these in. But with that said, I think um, if you get a chance, I've, if, if size is a, con is a concern for you uh, in terms of weight, in terms of holding these things, um, I don't think you should be worried about it. Um, I'm 6'1", 175 pounds. I, I mean, I'm not a big, that big. Um, so the, the 10 by 42s are, are fine. Um, but if you want something a little bit smaller, the 12 by 36s are wonderful and the extra magnification I think does make a difference um, there was a, a garbage can down the road that I could pick out the but again uh, I could there's there's a number there's some numbers on the on the on, the, on these garbage cans and I could easily uh, read the, the, the numbers on these garbage cans um, but that was during the day at twilight with the 10 by 42s I was barely able to read the the, the the numbers and I don't know if it's because the it was it was twilight or if it was because of the 10x but I'm gonna take them out as soon as it as soon as it clears up um, stops raining and and do uh, a little bit more comparisons between these optically but I got nothing but high praise to say for for, for both of these binoculars and um, if you ever get a chance to pick a pair of them up and take a look at them I would encourage you to do that okay